Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures if you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 33 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulations, skin health issues, we've been talking about the skin now for a couple weeks, and we'll continue talking about the skin, an organ that I know and love and have learned a lot about in the last 33 years. If you have questions about ingredients or something you may have read or heard, uh, read about or heard about, 844-236-6010. Uh, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase longevity products, you can call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, or head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products, as well as to join the team now. Link you can click on. And also want to remind you that I will be in... Uh, I'll be doing a talk in my lab this, this uh, Saturday morning, 11 a.m., and that's at 2240 Curtis Street, 2240 Curtis Street in Denver, zip code 80205. We're going to start right around uh, 11 o'clock. We'll talk for like maybe half, maybe an hour to an hour and a half, maybe two hours, depending on, uh, depending on uh, how many folks are there and questions. It's, and we'll also be giving out a lot of Beyond Tangy Tangerine and other longevity products. We'll talk nutrition, nutritional supplementation, skin health, and uh, just whatever you guys have in mind. Well, I'm, I'm happy to answer questions, and this is a great way for me to get to know some of you folks in Denver. And also, by the way, we have a Facebook page now for The Bright Side, and that's also a great way for me to get to know you guys. Uh, it's just uh, go to your Facebook search, search box there and p type in The Bright Side with Pharmacist Ben. And then sign up to join, and we post, and I guess not to join, but sign up, uh, sign up somehow. I'm not sure exactly what that entails, but just just ask to be a member. And then we have uh, we post regularly, and also I do my moments of truth, and also I will be doing Facebook Live. So hopefully you can do that. And then also speaking of our skin health, uh, speaking of skin health. Uh, please check out our True Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. Blemish Repair Complex is back in stock, I'm very excited to say. All right, and if you want to RSVP, by the way, uh, hopefully, uh, if, please RSVP if you can come. 720-412-7744. 720-412-7744. Dr. Taylor Mitchell. All right, so we're talking about skin and skin health on the bright side. The skin is a, uh, somehow it gets short shrift when it comes to being treated as an organ of the body. We, we, have, a, we have this very interesting relationship where it's probably one of our most favorite organs, at least the amount of attention it gets, but it's also an organ that we don't really care about its health as much as we do the other organs of the body. But it's a really serious thing when you have a skin problem. Depression, suicidal thoughts, increased stress can all result from psoriasis, eczema, acne. There's these psychological dimensions. In fact, there's a phenomenon in dermatology called psychodermatology that re relates to the psychological aspects of skin health for better or worse. Reading from uh, the Journal of Investigative Dermatology, this just came out last week actually, increased depression, suicidal thoughts, and stress are reported in patients with chronically itchy skin. 
Now, can you just imagine what this must be like to have chronically itchy skin? That's got to be one of the um, I can't even imagine the curse that is to be chronically itching. If you have, it's called urticaria, by the way. If you have chronic itching, rest assured something's getting into your blood through your digestive system. There's a very important relationship between kidney disease and liver disease, as well as just plain old food allergies and intolerances and skin itchiness. Pretty much all skin health challenges have to be backtracked to the digestive system. Pretty much all of them. There are things like contact dermatitis, which occur on contact, but for the most part, a skin problem is a blood problem. And this is the biggest misunderstanding we have about the skin is the relationship of the blood to the skin. All diseases is cell disease, and all cell disease is dirty blood. Dirty blood, and by dirty blood, I should, I should actually say dirty circulation because the lymphatic system is also involved. The lymphatic system is your drainage system. When you have incomplete drainage or incomplete movement of the drainage system, you have an accumulation of toxicity. And to make matters worse, the lymphatics don't just drain out toxins. They also help transport vitamins. So when the lymphatics get clogged up, big problems arise. When I talk about dirty blood, I'm talking about really dirty circulation. The lymphatic system is not the blood really, although as in all things in the body, everything's so connected, it's hard to see where, it's hard to say just exactly where the blood ends and the lymph begins. The way it works is the blood is, is it turns into the lymph at the level of the cell and the lymph turns back into the blood and nobody knows exactly where that occurs. Point being, when things are clogged up, we get sick. Disease is just dirty plumbing. It's just clogged plumbing. You can understand your toilet. If you can understand your plumbing in your house, you can understand how disease happens in the body. Our plumbing gets clogged. From, uh, this is from B -B -B Rockefeller University. Check this out. Lymphatic system. That's what I'm talking about here, the circulation of waste as well as vitamins. The lymphatic system found to play a key role in hair regeneration. How do you like that? It turns out that clogged lymph is also responsible, at least partially, for hair growth. When the lymph gets clogged, hair cells, or stem cells in the follicles don't grow as well. The skin doesn't grow as well. When clogging occurs, cells don't divide correctly because the skin is dynamic, it's moving, moving. It's, a, it's the fastest moving tissue in the body. There's a lot of places where things can get screwed up. A lot of things have to go right. When, skin's, when we say skin's moving, we mean there's steps that are being taken, lots of them. There is so much unbelievable chemistry in the skin that the fact that everything happens pretty much the way it should be most of the time, that's a miracle. It's very understandable that once the inflammatory process kicks in, once the blood becomes clogged, once the body becomes sludgy, the, the fluids become sludgy, disease will arise. I'm talking eczema. I'm talking uh, urticaria, pruritus. Those are fancy ways of saying itching. I'm talking psoriasis. And guess what else? I'm talking dry skin. Plain old dry skin is uh, likely the result, the end result of the immune system of inflammation, inflammation that's occurring at the tiniest of levels. The skin knows how to stay dry. The skin knows how to stay uh, hydrated. And by the way, when we have dry skin, we shouldn't say we have dry skin because that's misleading, and it doesn't allow us to direct our attention where our attention needs to be directed. When we say we have dry skin. What we really mean is we have a dry stratum corneum. Now, the stratum corneum, that's Latin for hard layer, is a very fascinating structure, I guess, or substructure of the skin. And lots of health challenges and lots of health misery, lots of skin health challenges and skin health misery are either the end result of or the cause of a broken down barrier, stratum corneum barrier. When we say we have dry skin, we're talking about the barrier. And we don't even know that the barrier is dry. We just know that it's hard. You can't feel dryness, you feel hardness. And you may see flakiness. That flakiness is also very interesting. Dry skin, flaky skin, it should be called dry stratum corneum, flaky stratum corneum. It's not the skin, it's the surface of the skin which maybe you say is part of the skin, but it, it, uh, when we say dry skin, we place our attention in the wrong place. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010.
back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you if you have questions about any anything we're speaking about here today. Skin health questions are especially welcome. 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase Longevity products, call 866-735-735. 2470 or head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you're in the Denver area, Denver, Colorado area, this Saturday, November the 23rd, 2019, we would love to see you at 2240 Curtis Street, Denver, Colorado, 80205, 11 a.m. We'll be talking about the longevity products and skin health and general health questions. It'll be a great way for me to get to know you guys who live in Denver, who've listened to The Bright Side, or even if you're just a longevity, or even if you just want to be, if you're interested in learning about longevity, we'll give away some Beyond Tangy Tangerine, a few other things. Call 720-412-7744, to RSVP, or for more information, and it is free, of course. True Skin Health products you can be had at truthtreatments.com and holiday specials are coming up. If they're not already up, I think they may be already up. If they're not, they'll definitely be up sometime in the next few days. Got Black Friday specials and also our Truth Blemish Repair Complex is back in stock. Truth Blemish Repair Complex is an acne supplement that works almost miraculously, especially if you haven't supplemented before. Even if you have, it put all my favorite supplements for acne in one capsule. I used to tell people, I still tell people, you got to go buy some NAC, you got to buy selenium, you got to buy, buy vitamin E, you got to get vitamin A, you got to get some chromium. And so finally, I just put it all together in one capsule and it works amazing. It's not just for skin either, it's for the liver. That's the secret to how blemish repair complex is so effective. It's not a skin supplement, it's a liver supplement. That's the key to taking care of the skin is taking care of the inside of the body. We don't think of it that way. We're led to believe from a gen we're in a generational trance. Talked yesterday about trances. How trances a trance can be defined as a one point focus. When you just see one thing and you're focused on one thing, we are in a generational trance about how we take care of our skin. We just rub stuff on. It doesn't work, people, because the good stuff is inside. And the really the, the real cause of skin problems is deep inside. Deep inside meaning in the digestive system. Deep inside meaning in the blood. Deep inside meaning in the liver. So our truth blemisher repair complex is a liver supplement that's great for preventing hangovers or for reducing the uh, symptoms of a hangover because it helps take care of your liver. All right. We, before we went to break, 844-236-6010 is our number. Before we went to break, we were talking about dry skin. Nothing is more, nothing says biochemical ignorance. I'm not trying to be mean here, but just biochemical unawareness, we'll say, than how we treat our dry skin. We don't have dry skin. We have a hard stratum corneum, and that's what allows us to rub coconut oil on our skin and say we just moisturized. No, you didn't. There's no moisturizing happening in coconut oil. Think about it. How can coconut oil moisturize? How can any wax or oil or, or greasy substance moisturize? They don't. They soften. And we think softening is moisturizing because we don't really need moisturizing. We need softening. Our skin's dry. Our skin's hard. The stratum corneum, when it loses moisture, becomes hard. And we call it dry. Dryness is a real problem. Dryness, dehydration of the skin, that is a problem. And you're not going to fix your dehydrated skin with coconut oil. The skin is supposed to stay hydrated through numerous functions. It traps water. One of the most important ways that the skin stays hydrated is by trapping water. It traps water in these magical sponges, molecular sponges. I say magical because they seem, it's just crazy, it's just crazy how intelligent the system is and how responsive the system is. It's like magical. When we are in a dry environment, what's supposed to happen is we make more sponges. We make more molecular sponges. These are molecular sponges. They got names. The, the components of the molecular sponges are things like sodium PCA. You may have seen that on an ingredient deck in skincare products. I love sodium PCA. It's part of the natural sponges. By the way, the natural sponges, the sponges in the skin that keep the skin hydrated, and ultimately the stratum corneum, the surface of the skin hydrated, are called the natural 
moisture factor. That's its real name. Natural moisture factor. The natural moisture factor is a bunch of molecules with things like names like sodium PCA and sodium lactate and arginine, the various compounds that are uh, uh, amino acids and fats, basically. And these amino acids and fats combine with natural sugars that are in the skin and proteins and gummy stuff. And that's how the skin's supposed to stay moist. It traps water. But here's the kicker. When we're in a dry area, we're if nature's working the way it should, if our skin's working the way it should, and we're healthy and we're doing everything correctly, when we're going to dry area, we make more sponges. The skin is an incredibly adaptive organ that adapts to the environment. Nobody should ever have dry skin, ever. The skin is designed to not be dry. When, you're, when you have less moisture in the air, you make more natural moisture factors. The water comes in ultimately from the blood, it leaks out, it hydrates the various tissues underneath in the, in the lower levels of the skin, and that moisture gets pulled up. And then the skin is so unbelievably uh, intelligent and responsive, it has these natural moisture factors that pull water in from the, from the uh, relative humidity, from the environment, from the ambient humidity. The ambient humidity provides a source of moisture for the stratum corneum. When you come to Colorado from, from Miami, you're supposed to make more moisture factors so you can trap more water. That's what's supposed to happen, but of course it doesn't for a lot of reasons. The number one reason is we use moisturizers. Moisturization, using moisturizing lotions shuts off the natural moisture factor. This is why people get addicted to their moisturizers. And the moisturizer business doesn't going to tell you this. You can't get rid of your dry skin with a quote moisturizer, unquote. I'm making air quotes here. Moisturizer in air quotes. No such thing. And the moisturizer business isn't going to tell you there's no such thing as a moisturizer. But I'm telling you that if you have dry skin, it's not a moisturizer that you need. In fact, a moisturizer is counterproductive. There are things you can do, lots of things you can do. If you have dry skin, and, and based on my experience, probably 99.99% .99 of the planet has dry skin. Certainly most people have dry skin. Lots of things you could do. The first thing is get on your ultimate EFAs. High doses, nine to 12 a day. That's the first thing you do. I said yesterday, if they take essential fatty acids out of the diet of an, of an animal experimentally, guess what happens? The skin gets dry. That's the, one of the first things, that, one of the major, uh, uh, major biochemical functions that's associated with essential fatty acids is skin hydration. Not to mention skin growth, not to mention anti-inflammation. In fact, you have to pick one supplement, and I hate to say that, you know, I hate to say one supplement because you need them all, but a case could be made that if you had to pick one supplement for the skin, it would be essential fatty acids, your ultimate EFAs. Of course, you do need all, the almighty 90 essential nutrients and some others as well. All right, we'll continue this discussion and take your phone calls when we come back from our break. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll return right now. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lots of folks who want to talk today, so we'll get your calls early. Call 866-735-2470 for the longevity products. And if you're interested in coming down to my lab in Denver, Colorado, this Saturday, November 23rd, 2019, 11 a.m., we're going to talk nutrition, we're going to talk skin, we're going to talk longevity. And uh, if you're interested, we'll go for about an hour and a half. It's free. We'll give away some longevity products as well, beyond Tangy Tangerine, a few other things, maybe some true skin health products. I'm not sure about that yet. Call Dr. Taylor Mitchell to RSVP 720-412-7744, 720-412-7744. From Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, Living skin can now be three-dimensionally printed with blood vessels included. How do you like that? This is from the journal Tissue Engineering. 
Researchers at Rensselaer Polytech have developed a way to 3D print living tissue that still has its bl or complete with blood vessels in it. A significant step towards creating grafts. What do you guys think of this whole 3D printing thing? I mean, we haven't even scratched the surface of, uh, in, in fact, 3D printing may be, may be one of the greatest technological advances. I mean, there's a lot of them. It's hard to say. But 3D printing, the idea that you can print a house or you can print a car, you can, you can now make things from the bottom up. You know, when, when you had to build a house before, you had to do it from the top down. You had to get a tree and carve it down. Now we build things from the bottom up. That, could be, that means no more shortages. You can just do everything. You can 3D print food. You can 3D print, 3D print body parts. 3D printing skin. Skin is a complicated organ. Google the skin. Look for Google an image of the Do Google images for a cross section of the skin. That's unbelievable. They're 3D printing this stuff. We are on the precipice of some pretty exciting things. Uh, some of us won't make it to see the whole, how it all develops, at least uh, in the next 50, uh, probably in the next 50 to 100 years. There's going to be some amazing, amazing things. I'm sorry I'm not going to get to see, some, see a lot of it, but we'll see. We'll get to see a bunch of it. The world is about to change in the next 10 or 15 years. There's a really cool book called Thank You for Being Late by a guy named Thomas Friedman who talks about how the world changed in 2008 and nobody noticed it. If you think back about it, 2008 is when the iPhone came out, 2000, 2008 is when cloud computing and cloud services really got going, Airbnb, Uber, all happened around 2008. The world kind of changed in a dramatic way and only in retrospect do we see it. Most of us are still oblivious to it. Thank you for being late. Thomas Friedman, great book. All right, 844-236-6010. Matt has been holding on for a long time. Matt in Canada. What do you what do you say, Matt? How you doing, buddy? Hey, not too bad. How are you? Good. Did I see you last week or when I was in Canada? Not last week. Two weeks ago. No, it was a little while ago. But I uh, just had a question about uh, eyelid skin. Uh, I've been on the carnivore diet for about six months. The cool, hang on, the carnivore diet. What? Well, hang on, yeah. Matt. What's the carnivore diet? Just meat? Yeah. You don't eat veggies? No. Just all meat. All meat. That's very inter very interesting. Who is somebody promoting that? Uh, well, Dr. Sean Baker. He's uh, he's a big guy in that, so you can check. And him he's out. saying all meat, no veggies at all. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's that's like interesting. The elimination diet. What's that? It's kind of like the ultimate elimination diet, right? So. Um, you know, meat could be pretty hard for the body to process, especially if you don't have you don't get fiber in meat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where are you getting your fiber from? Uh, I'm not. Okay. Well, I, I'm not, I don't know. That. I, unless I'm missing something, it doesn't sound like a great way to eat to me. But go ahead. What's your question? Okay. So the past couple of months, I've been having this dry eyelid thing going on. So uh, it's kind of like a little bit of wrinkliness around the eyelid. Okay. Uh, and it kind of looks like... Are you cooking your meat? Yeah. Well, you're very likely deficient in certain fats especially essential fatty acids. You may get, to, if you're doing grass, depending on the kind of meat you're eating, you may not get the right balance of fats. If you're doing grass-fed, you'll get some omega-3s. But if you're eating just regular old meat from the store, supermarket meat, you're probably getting an imbalance of fats. You're probably getting an imbalance in inflammatory and prone, uh, inflammatory and anti-inflammatory fats. I mean, you're really, I, you really, I can see why you would have dry eyelids on the carnivore diet. Number okay, one, well, your fats. Kind of yep. If you're eating a carnivore diet, using the, doing the carnivore diet like you know hamburgers and hot dogs and meat from the supermarket and that kind of thing, it's very likely you're going to be deficient in fats. You're going to have the wrong kinds of fats and or the wrong balance of fats, and you're also going to be missing fiber and phytonutrients, all of which are incredibly important. So unless I'm missing something, this doesn't not sound like a great way to eat. Get yourself on the ultimate EFAs as soon as possible, in my opinion. That would be one thing to do. Um, you pr might want to might want to make sure that you're getting, um, like, I don't know if you can do uh, ground of flax seeds. Can you do that, flaxseed fiber? I could try. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how that violates your diet or not, but that's what I would do. Heck, I would just get, start doing veggie juices. And essential fatty acids. Doesn't sound like a great way to eat, yeah. in my humble opinion. Plus, there's vitamin C, too. Where are you getting your vitamin C from? Well, I kinda, it was six months carnivore, and then I kind of transitioned off, and that's when I kind of noticed the skin changing. Uh, before, it was like mainly grass and beef. It was 
uh, oysters, uh, sardines. Okay. Uh, all right. And like Parmigiano Reggiano, like that's pretty much all I was eating for six months. And then I transitioned, and then the skin started to change a little bit on the eyelids. Uh, and uh, they prescribed like a like a steroid cream that went away for a week, and then it came back. So uh, I, yeah, I, I I would be I, I don't I'm not a fan of the diet. But anyway, get on your EFAs, uh, and then if you can do start doing some fiber, it's probably a good idea. And if you do veggie juices without violating the I mean, I wouldn't even do that diet. It doesn't sound like a great diet. Meat's, meat's helpful. There's some good stuff in meat, not the way we eat it today and not supermarket meat, but theoretically, meat's helpful. But to just subsist on all meat, I'm not sure that's a great idea. Matt, I hope I helped you, buddy. i got to take some more calls. Thanks, Thank you so much. Take care. All right, Elaine in Alaska, what's going on? Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. Sounds like you have a busy day if you've got a lineup. I've got a couple questions. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard his name is Wim Hof. Oh, yeah, of course. He's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I love him. If you've, like, ever tried to interview him. Uh, you know, I don't even know how to get a hold of him, but I, I watch his YouTubes. Yeah, he's great. I, okay. I'm a fan of Wim Hof. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, uh, yeah. He understands the I, power I, of the breath. I mean, what he's talking about, Wim Hof right. talks about is ways that you can use something as simple as the breath, as simple but yet as powerful as the breath to take care of health, to get you enter, to improve longevity, to give you more energy. And it makes perfect sense. I've been talking about the breath for a long time. He's got specific techniques for how you can access the power of the breath holdings for so long and, and, and breathing in and out. And he's got a whole routine he does. Um, and I have, I've tried his routine, actually, but it's so complicated. Um, but his point's very well, well know, taken. I, I don't know if you've tried it recently, because I've been doing it for about 10 days, seeing if yeah. it would be something that helps with some of my lupus symptoms. And he has an app. It's a free app. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, I love it because it's exactly what you talk about. You know, within the sanctity of your four walls, you can do it at home. That, that's what I love home. about it. And that's what I love yeah. about, about his work is he understands the simple little things we could do to stay healthy. That's the message here. The simple right. little things. We don't need to be medicalized to be healthy because it's in the body's nature to be healthy. Something as simple as and the breath. I, right. Hey, Elaine, I got a commercial break, but I'm going to put you on hold and we'll come right back to you, okay? Don't go away. Thank you, Elaine. And uh, if you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. You're listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. Okay, we're back on The Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here. We're talking to Elaine in Alaska. So what's on your mind, Elaine? I just wondered if you also ever thought about doing some, like, YouTube tutorials on your truth products. Cause, yeah, like, I got I'm lots sure of them. I got a whole, I, I have a bunch. You go to, uh, ah, okay. uh, shucks. I have a YouTube channel. Just just Google okay. or search in the YouTube box for uh, true treatments. I have a whole okay. YouTube channel with all kinds of videos like that. I'm not sure how to use your hyaluronic mineral hydrator with the The, the trifecta, all three products? Yeah, I'm just not sure how to use the new Yeah, stuff. here's what you do. Two, two, two. Just remember, two, two, two. Two drops okay. of Truth Transdermal C Serum. Two pea-sized amounts of Truth Hyaluronic Mineral Hydrator. Two okay. sprays of the Mineral Mist. Okay. Okay? Remember, the Mineral Mist and is it, minerals. It's, it's, all the, it's all the natural moisture factor molecules that we talked about earlier, plus the polyelectrolytes okay. all together. And, I, and then uh, mix, mix all three, six, six, six uh, pieces together, I guess, two drops, two okay. sprays, two pea-sized amounts, two pea-sized uh, pea pearls, and blend them all in your hand, rub your hand together, apply to your skin, and it will plump almost in front of your eyes if you look in the mirror. Okay. And then your okay. makeup will go on, your foundation will go on much smoother if you're wearing foundation. You might not even need it because you have this okay. plumping effect. Okay? So every day. You can do that. Every day. Every day. Okay. Yeah. And, it, and we and have it, many trifectas that are, if they're not out, they'll be out in the next day or two. We have mini trifectas. Okay. So you can try them out for a specially low $69 price. They're minis, but they'll last you a month okay. or so. Okay, good. And is it... A is it okay with the five percent retinol gel, like once a week? Or? Yeah, go by your skin, okay. but yes, absolutely. Yeah. In fact, it works great okay. after the the day after you use your retinol. It works great, especially. Okay, great. I love it, and your stuff is selling uh, wonderfully. So thank, thank you. Thank you. How's your skin looking? Good. Everyone's yeah. like, hey. <laughs> are people are people starting to notice stuff? Are they saying anything? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, that's one of the. About 
two years. Go. So. Oh, you've been using it three years. Okay, got gotcha, you, Lane. Yeah. Okay, good to talk to you. Uh, be Bye. safe. Have a wonderful day in Alaska. Appreciate your call. Thank you, Elaine. And let's move on to Robert in Nevada. What's going on, Robert? Long time no talk to, buddy. Yeah, good morning. As far as it's been a few years, thanks for taking my call. Appreciate it. Uh, you're uh, uh, just an absolute savant when it comes to health, uh, nutrition, oh, pharmacy, and everything. And uh, it's a pleasure talking to you uh, always. Same. So quick. Question and an unusual, weird one, but uh, you're in the usual and weird, so it's okay. Okay. So I'm on YouTube a few weeks ago, and I see this pit bull who developed a very large growth in his stomach. So his owner took him to a pet, and they, they did surgery, and they removed a tumor. Not just any tumor. It was put on a scale, and it was 16.2 pounds. Holy they then cow. A piece of, yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. They took a piece of it and sent it to a lab. And it was tested. It was determined it was a benign tumor, so not cancer, so he was okay. But my question is, how can a tumor of that size not be cancerous? Tumor just means growth. Cancer spreading. Uh, tumor just uh, means it's growth. Growth is one of the ways the body responds to, dure, to dure, uh, duress, out-of-control growth, because a, a growth is a really tightly controlled process, cell growth. The, in other words, the, the default position of cells is to grow. In order to control it, it takes energy. It takes nutrients. It takes work. It's like putting your foot in the brake. The default position of a cell is to grow. The brakes are where work comes in or nutrition comes in or resources come in. When resources are missing or, or when there's toxicity, the brakes don't work. You follow me? Gotcha. And so yeah. the default position is growth, and you get out of control growth. Then when that uh, thing starts to uh, uh, differentiate, it, it starts to uh, – the cells start to lose their ability to function. To, they change shape. Uh, that's when you get into cancer. So can the difference between cancer and a tumor is the cells. The cells of a tumor are the same kind of cells as the organ, but the cells of a, of a, 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 a cancer cell, they're different. They're an invader. You follow me? So, so a tumor is uh, an intestinal tumor is still intestinal cells. A cancer, if it was cancerous, it would be, um, it would the cells would be different than the organ itself. You follow me? Gotcha. And then gotcha. when it's yeah. when it's yeah. malignant, it spreads, and that's really where you where you run into a problem. So, in other words, tum tumors are benign; they're not made up of cancerous cells. Although you can have blends, you can have malignancies in, within a tumor. The, you know, within a tumor cell, but for the most part, sure. uh, tumors tumors are, are of a, a cellular material that is different from a cancerous tumor, a cancer cells. Gotcha. Makes okay. sense. Yeah, he was a lucky pooch. <laughs> yeah, he was a lucky pooch. That's exactly right. Very All right, Robert. Thank you. Good to Thanks, talk brother. to you. All right, uh, Barry. What's going on, Barry in New Orleans? Yes. Uh, good morning. Yes, I wanted to ask you uh, uh, about salt and high blood pressure. Uh, is there anything to this? What's your opinion on that? People with high blood pressure should be avoid salt. What's the what's your whole take on the thing about salt affecting high blood pressure? On what? If a salt and high blood pressure? I'm not buying it. Although salt's involved in pressure control, I'm not buying the fact that you can just limit salt to control blood pressure. It's not how it works. Blood pressure is really tightly regulated. It's based on stress levels. It's based on how much blood the needs, how much blood the body needs to deliver to various systems. The blood is shunted. You have fifty thousand miles of blood vessels, and the blood is constantly being shunted. It's like, you know how it works with railroad tracks. How certain when they want the train to go in a certain direction, they'll they'll do. Um, manipulate the tracks, they'll basically close off the tracks or open the tracks. Do you know what I'm saying? They can yeah. direct the flow of trains by moving the track, by moving little pieces on the tracks. Are you with me there, Barry? Yes. Okay, there's little switchers on the tracks, and by, by activating the switchers, they can direct the flow of trains. The same thing happens in the blood. The blood is redirected. When the blood is redirected away from certain areas, like uh, uh, from the from the viscera to the extreme to the extremities, like when you're under stress, the pressure changes. High pressure is a sign that the blood is trying to that the body is trying to redirect pressure. So what ends up uh, redirect blood. So uh, high blood pressure is, is an, it's an intentional thing. The body is doing it intentionally. When you have high blood pressure, it's not an accident. The blood is just being redirected in different areas. Also, if the blood needs to, you need to have more blood to the extremities, the heart will work harder. 
So it's just a redirection of the blood flow. When we have hypertension, it's a way the body, it's actually, it, the body is thinking it's doing a good thing. It's responding to stressors. So the way you deal with high blood pressure is you relax the body. It's the simplest thing. It's so crazy to me that we don't know how to deal with this thing. You could do it, and I say this all the time, I'll say it again, if you take your blood pressure and uh, then go sit in a warm bath and take your blood pressure again, you'll see your blood pressure drops. If you've ever experienced standing up out of a warm bath or a hot tub and getting a little woozy, you've experienced the drop in blood pressure that occurs when you sit in warm water. Why warm water? What's magical about warm water? Warm water is, uh, induces the parasympathetic response, the safety response. We all know about white coat hypertension. The doctor walks in with his white coat and you freak out and your blood pressure goes up. If you're freaked out, guess what's gonna happen to your blood pressure? Do you think your blood pressure is gonna drop when you're freaked out? No, your blood pressure goes up when you're freaked out. Essential hypertension is a freak out. It's the body just needing to be relaxed. It's as simple as that. Now, the medical model understands this. That's why they give you beta blockers. The beta blockers relax the body. Specifically, they relax the heart, but they relax everything. Metoprolol, classic beta blocker drug, used to be called Low Presser, the brand name, is classic for making you feel like crap. You can't get out of bed, you don't feel like doing anything because the beta blocker is shutting the system down. Well, you don't have to take a drug to shut the system down. You can practice your slow, deep breathing and instead of shutting the system down, you can relax the system. And that's what we're talking about here with almost everything I talk about on this program every day is these simple little things that we could do to take care of our body, to address our health. Hypertension is not a salt issue. Salt is regulated by the kidneys and by the adrenal glands, your salt in your, the salt level in your blood. Salt is one of the ways the body responds to stress. It uses salt. So this hypertensive response is the way the body's hand, it, it's an adaptive response to stress. And so it's burning through salt. So your body uses a lot of salt. So the doctor's strategy is let's lower the salt. I, I, and I don't want to say the doctor's strategy. The medical model says let's lower the salt. I'm not buying it. Not to mention, when we talk about salt, we, there's salt and there's salt. There's table salt, which is sodium and chloride, and then there's Celtic sea salt, which is magnesium and nickel and iodine and all of the 78, 78 minerals that you need. So when you say low salt, what are you talking about? They mean low sodium is what they're really talking about when they talk about low salt. But it doesn't matter because sodium is an essential electrolyte as well. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks, Bear. Appreciate it. And uh, please check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for the longevity products. And Truth Skin Health products can be had at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.